to everyone who's ever thought, I love this podcast, but what if it was shorter? Your prayers have been answered. Welcome to Podcast in Minutes. Today, the special podcast is talking about your gut bacteria that have 100 times more genetic information than your entire human genome. They are in trillions. We're talking hundreds to a thousand different species living inside you right now. These aren't just random hitchhikers, they're sophisticated communities with their own neighborhoods. Some live in little caves called crypts, others attach themselves to your gut lining like tiny anchors. And here's what blew my mind. These microbes aren't just helping you digest food, they're manufacturing chemicals that cross into your bloodstream, some even making it past the blood-brain barrier to influence your actual thoughts and mood. Your immune system is literally having conversations with these bacteria through special monitoring stations in your gut. But here's where we're screwing up massively. Our modern diet of processed foods is like a famine for these microbes. Think about it. When you eat a bag of chips versus an apple, you're feeding completely different populations. Processed foods have hidden sugars and emulsifiers that actually harm beneficial bacteria while fiber from whole plants feeds the good guys. Dr. Justin Sonnenberg at Stanford ran this fascinating study comparing high fiber diets to high fermented food diets. The fermented food group, people eating yogurt, kefir, kimchi, sauerkraut, showed dramatic increases in bacterial diversity and decreased inflammation markers. It was like watching an ecosystem come back to life. So what can you actually do? Start slow. Your gut needs time to adapt. Begin with one serving of fermented food daily. Add variety gradually, different vegetables, legumes, whole grains. Think of it as feeding a garden, not just yourself. And here's a pro tip. If you're getting bloated, you're probably going too fast. We're moving toward a future where we might be able to reprogram our microbiomes like editing genetic code, but right now, the most powerful tool you have is your fork. Every meal is either feeding the good bacteria or the bad ones. What's one fermented food you're gonna try this week? Let me know in the comments. And if this changed how you think about your gut, hit that like button.